hello friends so in this problem counting sort one the given two paragraphs here so this first paragraph is basically comparison between quick sort and counting sort and some basic information about those so this second paragraph is most important for this problem so in this paragraph they have given some uh, basic information about counting sort so I'll read this paragraph the counting sort does not require comparison Instead, you create an integer array whose index range cover the entire range of values in your array to sort. Each time a value occurs in the original array, you increment the counter at that index. So here is an example of that. So what they are meant to do is, uh, in this is the original array that is one one three two one, and this is the final counting sort array. So we have to traverse this array from first element to last element and whenever uh, the number is occurring in that array uh, considering this one at the first index so we will have to increment uh, counting sort arrays first index by one that is this and after second occurrence this first index will increment by one so it became two and after the third occurrence at the last as it is the last index it will it has become three and this three has only occurred once so the third index has become one here and this two is also occurring uh, only once in this whole array so it has also become one here so the final array will be zero number of zeros in the original array three numbers of one in the original array one number of two in the original array and three number of one number of three in the original array so while printing we have to print like this this only that is zero zeros three ones one two and one three that way we will get the sorted array so we will go to the function directly so the input range here is number will be from one to ninety nine and the output array will be of 100 that is from index 0 to 99 so i'll just maximize this and as we have to create an array of 100 so i'll use a calloc function as the return type is integer pointer so we have to return that uh, counting sort array and this is the original array size and this is the original array and this is the result count of the returning array which will be 100 so i'll make it as result count equal to 100 and i'll create that array of result that is integer pointer result using calloc and it will be a array of 100 and the size of each element will be size of integer so this will create an array of 100 elements 100 integers so after that what i have to do is i'll run for loop starting from 0 till length of the array that is array count and this is a modification i plus plus so i'll declare this variable in this for loop only and after that what i have to do is i have to put I have to increment the, the index of the resultant array whichever number is coming in the original array so for that I'll take it as uh, firstly I'll extract the index that is index equal to ARR of i so whichever number is there in the uh, array so that will be put into the index so I have to declare the index here and after that we have to increment the that particular index of this resultant array so result of index will be incremented by one on each occurrence so after doing this we just have to return this result that is this resultant array so this is the code this much code is required to solve this problem we'll just run it to check if it is working or not so first two tests are passing so here you will see that uh, 
there are zero number of zeros two ones zero twos two threes and so on till uh, number 99 there are two 99s in this original array so we'll submit the code to check against all the test cases so all the test cases are passed so this will be the code to solve this problem so if you have any doubts do let me know in comments and thank you for watching